and to the oil I've added one and a half tablespoons of sugar I'm gonna wait until it's golden brown a nice caramelized color and then I'm gonna add my seasoned chicken so now that it's got golden brown a nice caramel color we're gonna add the seasoned chicken to the pot and we're gonna stir it up you're gonna hear that nice sizzling we're gonna stir it up so that the caramelized sugar would coat every piece of chicken that you added to your pot And this is a five pound chicken that we cleaned and seasoned and had it marinated and seasoning for a bit before added. Look at the beautiful golden color. One thing I forgot to say was do not add water to your pot. Reason being when you put the chicken in the pot and you cover it, it will produce its own water. So now after 20 minutes or so, you are going to add you are going to add the bell pepper, onion, pimento, and tomato to your pot, and then give it a quick stir, and then cover it again. And this is really going to bring out the flavor. like so. So you're just going to cover it down and leave until everything is nice and tender. After adding your ingredients, you're going to turn the stove to low. This is what it should look like after about five minutes of adding the ingredients. You're nice and bubbly. And you see the water that the chicken created on its own? I did not add any water to this. I wish technology can evolve for you to smell this. It smells absolutely delicious. So after about half hour, this is what you would get. So just to make sure that your chicken is nice and tender, you're gonna take out one piece and you're going to use a knife to cut it to see if you can use the knife to see how easily it cuts. Right, so that's what you want. You want to make sure it's nice and tender before taking it off. So now that we know that it's nice and tender, we can go ahead and turn off the stove. And there you have it, guys. Trinidad and Tobago stewed chicken. I'm not saying I'm not saying this is the only way to make it. This is just how my family makes it. Everybody has a twist to it. So if your recipe is different to mine, you can comment down below and let me know how different um, your recipe is to mine. I would love to see you make this. So if you do tweet me or tag me on Instagram I would put my social media handles down below and yeah let's stay connected thank you all so much guys bye